The name of this video is the first rule of pinstriping. And that first rule is you are going to f this up. It isn't easy picking something up for the first time. Uh, I was a skydiver for quite a while, and I can tell you that uh, on my first, fr I had done a couple jumps, but on my first free fall, I literally forgot to open the parachute. So I know that things don't go right on the first time. And I took up wood carving. Uh, yeah, things don't go right all the time, but my very first carving, it looked really bad. My second one, however, took me forever, but it looked pretty good and I felt pretty good about it. And now I'm working on my third one and I'm starting to rock it. And uh, I also have picked up some safety equipment. With the wood carving, I'm getting better as I go. I think I had to screw up that first one. So now something as simple as picking up a paintbrush, dipping it in paint, drawing onto something, it looks like it's it looks like it's going to be difficult to do. What I realized is it is going to be difficult to do. It's going to be impossible to do. So what you have to what I realize you have to do is you have to pick up the brush, put, run some paint down, screw it up that first time, get that out of the way. And then once it's out of the way, the rest is cake and learning. So what I'm doing here in this video is letting you know that you are going to suck at this. Literally, 100% of you that are going to try this for your first time, you're going to fail miserably. And I can't wait. I'm excited about this. The reason I'm so excited about you screwing this up is because the neat thing about that is once you do, you'll have what it takes to learn something. Unless you paint something down and see where it needs to go, you can't learn. Until you get out of an airplane with a parachute on your back and figure out the mistakes that you can make, you can't get good at it. And once you get past the first time, that's when you'll have a clue on how all this stuff works. You take that brush and you go to make a turn and there's a bunch of hairs coming off of that line. And that's your clue, that's your message that you need to twist that brush and get your hand behind it a little bit and do it. You keep, you, no one can know where to put that the first time, but as it happens and you see the mistakes, you understand to make that curve. What I think people don't know is that once you do fix those mistakes and once you do pull a line around that looks really good, there's a magic to it. There's a flow to it. And it, the, the feeling you get to know that you came up with something cool and something clean and you just want to go, look, look at this. <laughs> I'm awesome. You just can't have that awesome feeling until you first run your first couple lines and are convinced that you're at this. In this video, I'm gonna show you with a dramatization how that's true. And you'll be able to see somebody go through this and I want you to follow along just to get that first time out of the way. And then we can play with some designs. Here we are for this dramatization. We're gonna have fun with this. Here we have just a regular guy. Not important, not really much even to him. He talks about having some kind of art background. It's nothing really bad. He's just a regular schmo. But, and a good friend of mine. He is going to attempt his very first time at pinstriping. We're gonna have a bunch of fun with this. And I'm hoping that you guys at home will play along. And this is what I was talking about earlier just getting the first bit out of the way. So Gary, have you ever pinstriped before? No, I never have, never even attempted it. You're excited about learning this, right? I, yeah, I am, I am actually excited about this. I do happen to know that Mr. V here has some experience in the art world, 
Not a lot back in the day. Didn't you tell me that you did some... Uh... Some modeling, actually, yeah. I, um, I worked... You were a model? Uh, no, not that kind of modeler. Oh. But, uh, no, there was a hobby shop that uh, used to give me kits. And then I used to ah. actually build them for them and paint them and detail them up because they wanted... They had them in a display case. So I'd put them together. Well, I'm yeah. thinking that just by being a mechanic and in the uh, automotive industry... It gives you a little bit of a heads up of how to make this happen. And we're going to test that on Gary right now. If you need, we're set up to pinstripe. We're going to have a bunch of fun with this. You're going to like it. Uh, I've set up all the paints for them. You'll be able to see it here. I've got my paint kit. We're going to uh, palette and do all that stuff. You can learn all that in my first video of the Aloha sign. You can see what paints to use, what brushes, all that stuff. We don't need to do that. I am going to assist Mr. V in all of uh, how to set it up, and we're just going to drag some lines, so we're going to have fun. Now, I want you to know that the thinners that I'm using for my paint is just a uh, simple odorless mineral spirits, and you can use that in yours depending on the temperature of the day. But you know what? Sometimes people get a little nervous. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like so, I'm nervous right now. Yeah. Yeah. We recommend using a little bit of thinner. Ah. Oh! Yeah, lots of thinner. Mm. <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to start our first stripe. This is, you can't see me. This is Max pinstriping. I've pal paletted my brush. And I got some color in there. And now I'm going to show Gary how to do the very first line. And here we go. All we're going to do is follow along this tape. We're going to stay right next to it. Here we go. Oh, look, there's a hair sticking out. Oh, goodness. Da, da, da. It's an older brush. I'll go like this. Figure out how thick you want it. Don't press any harder. Follow along next to that tape. Try to keep it as even as possible. I got a little thick there. I'm going to thin back up. And at the end, I'm going to turn this. I'm going to get behind there. I'm going to twist it a little bit. And keeping the consistency of the line in the turn. Right. Put my hand behind it. It's kind of lumpy and shitty, even with me doing it. I have a, I've had a couple cocktails. Got a little thick right there. Got a little thin right there. But you know what? Okay. Oh, there's a bug in it. I'm going to clean this line up. I'm going to stick it in there and not press as hard. Keep it real gentle. Look where it needs to be thickened. I'm going to clean that line up. Make it prettier. Come here and stop. Okay. Now it's your turn. All right. Okay, and, and is there a it. top and a bottom? Yes, there is. Okay, I see the lay of the brush. The so round part the round goes part on, the bottom, on the bottom, the square bottom part goes, goes on, on the, the top. top. Hold okay. it like this. No, you're going down. You gotta hold it like, like that. Okay, and perfect. The, the, that goes the, down, the it's like a knife. Okay. Yeah, just like a knife, exactly. Okay. No, now you turned it around again. Don't do that. Turn it up, because it's got to go like this. Oh, gotcha. Okay. No, you did it again. You're holding it straight. Look at you're going like this. Oh. No, you hold it like this. Like down on oh, it. Oh, down. See oh, it gotcha. Okay. All right. So if you're going to hold that, oh, you don't get to paint, little brother. You got to dip in the... So I'm going to hold this down like right. this. Yeah. And I want to go into the paint first. You got the rounded side on the bottom like a knife. Actually, it's called a sword striper, which is funny. I don't know. You'll be able to once dip in the paint. Okay. Put it on the palette. Dip in the thinner, just a little ways. Now dip that back into there. Now palette. Like press down and we're loading the brush. That's what we're doing here is we're loading the brush up with paint. Press down. All right. Now do a practice stripe right there on the paper. You got it? Pull. Take these fingers and put them out so that when you set it down, you I set can, it like that. There's a guide. Look at You can look. You press that down like that and then pull. Pull. Okay. okay. Go, ahead, go ahead and start top. Make it happen. Here it All is. All right. Here we go. First time. First time. Here we go. Here it goes. Pull. Set it down and pull so it stays even. Keep going. Don't touch the tape. 
Keep going all the way to you get down to the end where you're going to turn. Pivot on your fingers on the end. Once you get there, stay. Go back to closer to the tape if you have to. I'm trying to keep the line consistent. Atta boy. Keep going. Go a little faster. You're going so slow it creates butt it, it, Yep, I see that. Now turn at the last second to follow that tape. Twist that brush to the left. And lift it. Hey! 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 Look at that! Touch huh? it, touch All it right. out. Touch it out. Alright, let me go back in. I'll touch that up a little bit. There it is. Very first line. The very first one you've done, right? Very first. Yeah. <laughs> it looks pretty good. And if this nipple head can pull off a line that straight. Nipple head. Oh. So can you. Yeah. But you know what? It's not, he's not there yet. And he's not going to be there for a while. You got to do a bunch of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the second line. I'm ready. This is going to be awesome. I'm doing the same thing I did before, only I'm using the paint line as a what to paint next to. I'm going to come in at this angle. I have to twist right away. Pull down like this. Twist out the other way. Come around, bring the brush behind, twist it a little bit. Same amount of pressure. Stop, pull. I palleted once. I will go back and clean up that little bit. But one of the things I want Gary to do is pull that straight line, stop, come out of here, do a little S turn, and now we're going to do one more. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is pinstriping. Now you do the same thing I just did. Okay. Sweet! Here we go. <laughs> Oh, you did a real wibble wobble. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'll tell you when to stop. Stay at the same distance. Ah, stop. Now do your S curve. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are really bringing it up. Bring your hand around quick. Turn quick. Now go long. Go long, long, long. Closer. 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 You're not pressing down hard enough. Turn it out and pull it out and make that same turn. Ow! Awesome! Yeah. Now you want to do your second line. Okay. Press down. See how it's thin? Yeah. You got to press down a little harder to get it to be more even. Now, flow line. I know you squeeze it a little closer, a little closer. Get it going into it. Become one with the line at the bottom, follow along, and raise up. Your line's way too thin, Gary. You gotta yeah, I got to push harder. No, wait. Pallet. Load up the brush. Okay, now do, do your second line. Press a little harder. Here we go. Pull. Smooth it out and go into it. Yeah! See that angle I'm coming out at? Yep. Lean now. Gotcha. So you get the distance on it. Follow, go slowly, closer, closer, blend in. Hey, do another one. Now 
Every now and then, look at mine. See where you got to blend in. Oh my God, you did it. Twist it, bring it up, raise it up. Are you getting that? Go close. Oh, bud. look at that. Go close, bud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really, uh, really screwing this up tonight. Oh. Just leave it. You know what? Go. We're just going to do it. Press down so it stays the same thickness. Swivel, bring it around way far. Now turn back around. Oh yeah, it comes to a oh, point. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get that pivot on it. You got this, Gary. Yeah, I got this. At GV at, go ahead. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> if you can do it. I can, I can do it! it. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> That's awesome. That looks great. Thanks. I, uh, you know, it looks really good right in here. Obviously, uh, it's you know, a good I, straight it's line. a good straight line. I mean, obviously, I know I gotta practice with the curves and and handling the brush, it's more of a challenge than you really think. Yeah, but you look at it from here. Yeah, right? it's... Okay, yeah, okay, need some love, but... Yeah, but... A first time? First timer. Did you learn anything? A ton. Really? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my drink. Oh my God, that was awesome. Oh, smoking. I, you know what, just doing this tonight with Gary doing his first day, I remember when I first started pinstriping. Oh my God, I did not do this good. How did it feel? 
Well, um, obviously it's something new. And, but it was awesome because I've never done anything like this ever. And, you know, me as a mechanic doing all these, this bike stuff, you know, this is the finishing touch that goes on these really cool bikes that we build here. And, you know, to, to really get a feel for something and how this is done, you're really never going to know. I'm talking wow. about the turn and the paint. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> so, you know, it, it takes practice. It, I can see where I'm making mistakes. And I don't, because I don't have that feel and that, that, that turn and whatnot. I could do a straight line. Um, the next time you paint something, what will you do? What will be the difference? Oh, instead of hiring you to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think um, it's just going to take some practice. And it's, you know, it's, it's something that you perfect over time. And, and it's a skill. Well, overall, this doesn't look bad. He did a great first time job. Yeah, thanks. I, actually, I, you bet. Yeah, thanks. I've seen some worse first time deals, but you know what? It's out of the way. Get yours out of the way, and let's make this happen. Talking parts over. The talking parts, parts over. over. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Max. <laughs>